hi all so today uh, we are going to see how to add a new column in our table so last time we had created this table uh, we'll open uh, the database as well this is our database and this is our table so currently i am having four columns in my cdt and i want to add a new column so what are the different ways of adding it so that we are going to see here so first way we are going to see is first of all we will directly add a new column from our cdt so we'll click on how we are going to do this let's see so click on the new field once we have clicked on new field suppose uh, uh, this is a test table so suppose we want to add address address and address will be of type text and uh, length will be 255 by default let's skip it and we'll click on save changes okay now here you will get one notification about that it is saying one data store will need to be updated so uh, if you directly click on that so it will open the data store or you can open the data store from the objects as well we'll save the data type okay this data type has been saved and we'll go back to our data store this is our data store in our data store uh, we have to go this is our entity has already been added okay so let's click verify so first step is verified so what verify will do it will compare our CDT and it will compare our database so currently you can see uh, if I open my table so it is YS test table <coughs> so currently in my data type i have five fields and in my database it is only having uh, four fields so it will compare both and if there are any issue it will throw us an error so we'll click on verify see it is saying that matching tables uh, no matching tables found so in that case we have the uh, other step is we have to download the ddl scripts so just click on download ddl scripts the DDL scripts has been downloaded we'll open it in a notepad one we can just open it now in the DDL script you can see that uh, there will be so much information related to our other information are also related to our tables are present here okay and we just have to focus on update DDL only so first skip whatever you are seeing in update DDL whenever you make any changes in your CDT uh, every time this update DDL will get updated so just copy the DDL script from here we'll copy it and we'll minimize this we'll go back to our table in the, our table we'll go back to SQL in that delete everything and we'll paste this once you have pasted it just click on go now if you go to browse you can see one more table has been their address and in the structure as well the length is what 255 characters so this is the one way of adding it and again we'll go back to our data store we'll refresh it and we'll click on verify so this time it has successfully verified so just save and publish it fine so this is was one of the way of creating uh, adding a new column uh, to your tables the other way of adding a column is suppose I want to add a new field so for that what I will do we there is another way like download the XSD so the XSD file has been opened so let's open with notepad only yeah so so this is our XSD file okay so if you consider if you have to write add any new column with the help of xsd then three things you have to keep in mind there is a xsd starts with xsd element so let me point out these three things separately so it has three important components so first component is xsd element is there and it ends with xsd element as well so whatever the tag that is open it will close as well 
in inside the xsd element there is one more tag called xsd annotation annotation and this annotation tag again will close it will close the annotation inside the annotation there is xsd uh, uh, app info there is xsd app info and we'll close the xsd app info as well so these are the important tags which are used to add a new column into the database with the help of jpa annotations they are also called so we'll start with our xsd element we'll go here and we'll see where so we just now we have seen that it ends with xsd element so we'll see in our notepad where it is ending so here xsd element is ending so from here we can add a new column okay so let me write first step is write xsd element okay and the xsd element will end as well it will it will end as well let us end this tag okay so now xsd element will contain more data like which column you are going to add so you have to specify the name as well if you see last time we have added address so this time we have, we will add a uh, more details like uh, maybe suppose pin code pin code we are going to add okay and new label new label is equal to 2 will add as it is and then there is type so pin code will be of type uh, int so it will not be of type of a string so for int we can just write int int so this is our xsd element is fine now next step is to add xsd annotation so annotations are used to provide the relations as well it is a foreign key or not that we will see later but here we don't need that annotation so inside the xsd annotation we write xsd uh, app info so xsd will write it app info okay in the xsd app info we specify the source so source is what it is apn dot jpa i'm just you can refer to any previous column as well for the annotation you don't have to memorize all these things see I mean column and then you have to length so length of a pin code will be maximum we can keep it as in india it is around 8 we'll keep it maximum 10 and then we'll end the xsd app info so this is how our new table has been added so first of all we have added xsd element in which we have specified which column we want to add label is true and type is int so here we will give it xsd int fine now the second is annotations so annotations contain some important conditions like a column and what will be the length all these things and if it is a foreign key or not that also is a, a informed in annotations and then xsd element will get closed and for primary key it is a bit different so in the annotation uh, for primary key it is generated value and uh, since primary key are unique so unique is equal to true that condition is mentioned there okay we'll save this and let us go back to our uh, table and will and cdt and here we will click on this option create new version from xsd We'll create on that upload our xsd file so we'll click on upload and here is the table so it will get uploaded here and see again it will tell you to go and download the ddl and update the same in our database as well so we'll create a new version from here 
and if you once this is completed you can see pin code has been added and number is there so now we will go to our data store and refresh this once we have refreshed we will again verify our data store so verification is failed because in our table currently we have a new column here but in our database structure if you see only till five columns are there so we'll download our ddl scripts from here the ddl scripts has been downloaded and we only have to focus on the update ddl part so just copy the sqls in from here and we'll go back to our table database will go back to sql and here we'll paste this and we'll click on go so now if you go to the structure the pin code has been added okay so now again let's refresh this so and again we'll verify and this time entity verification has been successful so we can just publish it so this these are the two ways of adding so first way we have seen directly from a new field we have added and the other way of adding was we downloaded the xsd and added so only three things has to be kept in mind the element annotations app info and uh, only these three things are important for uh, JP annotations so in uh, element you will define which element you are uh, you are going to add in annotation as well inside annotation there is XSD app info so it contains the relations uh, with the table as well that we will see later on and that and everything that has been st has started everything will close as well that's it so thank you all for watching till here uh, we'll meet in the new video with some different topics thank you all